Hello, hello, my dear brothers and sisters. It's another beautiful day to talk about the Christian way of life. Alam niyo, as Christians, we strive to be more like Jesus every day. We should. Kaya lang, we think with our heads. Kasi sa totoong buhay, we live with our misguided hearts. Dahil meron tayong pride. And often, my dear friends, ang pride ang nagiging hadlang sa ating relasyon kay Kristo. Sa totoo lang. Alam mo, sometimes we think we know everything when we actually know very little. Pag umiiral na po ang pride, dyan na, nag-uumpisa, patigasan na tayo ng ulo. Diba? Nakikipag-argumento tayo, nakikipag-mataasan tayo, nakikisabay tayo sa kultura ng pagiging makasarili na namamayagpag na po sa ating bayan. Alam nyo mga kaibigan, hindi nakakabawas ng pagkatao maging humble. My dear friends, humility is not thinking less of yourself, of oneself. Rather, it is thinking of oneself less often. Therefore, do not use your knowledge of God's teachings to judge others. Huwag niya sabihin, oh, mabait ako sila, masama. Oh, hindi ho ko ganun. Only God can judge. Not you, not me. Alam niyo mga kaibigan, dun po sa Luke 18, ha? sa 10, Luke 18, 10. May dalawang tao na umakit sa templo. Two men went up to the temple. One was a Pharisee and the other one was a tax collector. Alam niyo mga Pharisees, sila yung mga patriots, di ba? Sila mga defenders of the faith. Ha? Kasi may foreign domination noon. Alam mo yung Roman Empire nandun po dati sa Jerusalem, no? sa Israel. So, yung mga tax collectors naman, tinatrato mga traitor. Kasi namumulekta sila ng tax para dun sa mga Roman em- sa occupiers, di ba? Pero alam mo sa Bible, Jesus challenges us to rethink our judgment. Kasi we don't know kung ano yung nasa puso talaga ng ibang tao. Yung akala mo napakabuting tao, yung pala arrogante sa loob ng kanyang puso. Yung akala mo na tao na masama, yung pala napakabuti sa loob ng kanyang puso. Dahil hindi natin alam ang nilalaman ng puso ng bawat isa. Alam niyo mga kaibigan, huwag tayong magkaroon ng delusyon. Alam niyo sa Luke 18, ha, sa 11 to 12, the Pharisee stood and prayed with himself. He said, God, I thank you that I am not like other men extortioners, unjust adulterers, or even this tax collector. I, I, I fast twice a week. I give tithes to the church. All that I possess. Di ba nagmamalaki? Tama ba yun, mga kaibigan? But if we pray, thank God, I'm not like so-and-so, niloloko mo lang ang sarili mo. You're like a delusional person. Ay, yung naniniwala siya si Napoleon. Because lahat po tayo ay nagkakasala. Wala pong taong immune sa pagkakasala. Kapag nagalit ka sa ibang tao, nagkakasala ka na. Kapag nainggit ka sa ibang tao, nagkakasala ka na. Ha? Pag hindi ka makapagpatawa, nagkakasala ka na. Alam niyo, self-righteousness is a fool's delusion, my friends. You're defining the faults of others, but you are not defining your own faults. Can we be close to God with this? Alam nyo, the Pharisee, he dedicated his life to the holiness of the church and become confident in his own righteousness. Dahil alam nyo yung salita ng Diyos, alam nyo yung batas ng Diyos, he believes he was superior to everyone else. Yet he forgot one thing. All our good deeds do not clean up the filthy acts that we do. Sabi nga sa Isaiah 64.6. Kailangan meron tayong righteous repentance. Ituloy po natin, ha? Sa Luke 18, tuloy-tuloy po tayo. Sa verse 13 to 14. And the tax collector, yun, di ba sabi ko, dalawa sila, isang Pharisee, isang tax collector. The tax collector said, standing afar off, he could not much as raise his eyes to heaven. And he said, God, be merciful to me. I am a sinner. Sabi nga ni Cristo, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. Kaya dapat tayo nagbabasa ng Biblia, mga kaibigan, kasi maliwanag na maliwanag doon ang mga turo ng Diyos kung paano dapat natin ikasabuhay ang pagiging Kristiyano. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Yan po ay nasa 1 John 1, 8-10. Basahin nyo. None of us measures up to God's righteousness. Kaya nga po namatay si Kristo para sa kapatawaran ng ating mga kasalanan. Let's discern right from wrong. Walang masama doon. Pero avoid being self-righteously judging others and humbly confess our sins to God. Because the righteous will not live by criticism and judgmentalism, but the righteous will live by faith. Yan po ay nasa Romans 1.17. 
Humility, my dear friends, is important because it sets things in proper order and perspective. Kapag binaluta natin ang ating sarili sa pagpapakumbaba, our hearts can see things clearly. We recognize that we are not above anyone. Dahil pantay-pantay po tayong nilalang ng Diyos. Rather, we are all unique children of God, equal. Equal in His sight. Humility also blesses us to walk in true freedom, no longer weighed down by the weight of competition. Dito na competition sa iba. James, sa 4.10, Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. Siya na po ang mag-aangat sa inyo. Hindi mo kailangan iangat ang iyong sarili. Hindi ka kailangan iangat ng ibang tao. Importante, inaangat ka ng Diyos. Part of following Christ is humbling oneself. Alin the Lord Himself humbled Himself as a human being. Binabahin yung sarili niya so we can truly be forgiven. So let's follow His lead. Let us walk humbly. Let us love with mercy and seek God's words every day. That's why it's important to read the Bible every day. May time tayo magbasa ng Facebook, may time din tayo magbasa ng Biblia dapat. Let us always ask God to send us His Holy Spirit so we may live life with mercy instead of vengeance, kindness instead of indifference, humility instead of pride gentleness instead of harshness patience instead of impatience yan po ang mga virtue na binibigay sa atin ng Holy Spirit through the power of the Holy Spirit God will put these virtues in our hearts our minds and lalabas ito sa ating attitude sa ating words sa ating actions and alam nyo pag ganyan po nangyari this world we live in will become a better place and all of it all our actions will be for the greater glory of God let us pray. O oh Lord my God, today we ask you to forgive us. Give us your forgiveness for we have sinned. We choose to walk humbly with you, O oh Lord God. We choose to live by your laws, by your word. We welcome you to mold and secure our hearts in true humility. Help us, O oh God, not to have a boastful tongue against our brothers. Let humility invade our souls. Tulungan mo kami marinig ng malinaw ang inyong tinig, ang inyong mga turo. Dahil ayaw namin lumakan ng pagmay mamalaki o panghuhusga sa iba. Gusto pa namin lumakan. Nakasama mo, O Diyos. Kaya't bigyan mo kami ng kalinawan ng pag-iisip upang pagpahalagahan namin ang iyong pagtuturo, ang iyong pagmamahal, at pagpahalagahan po namin ang isa't isa sa diwa ng pagpapakumbaba at mabuhay kami ng lubusan bilang mga tunay na Kristiyano. This we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who died for the forgiveness of our sins and resurrected so we may join you in heaven in life eternal. Amen. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, to be kind, gentle, generous, loving, giving, forgiving, and live humble lives every day. I love you all and God loves you all.